All right, welcome back to Prestige Motorsports. We're in our car shop today. Just wanted to take a moment. This car is getting ready to leave. Uh, it's a Superformance Cobra, and uh, this one's actually from American Powertrain. So just wanted to kind of highlight and cover some things we've talked about previously, mainly as such when you're choosing an engine company, um, reasons you may choose one over another. So um, a little background story on this car is that they had purchased an engine from a company that does not offer uh, different induction options. So in this case, they wanted an eight stack uh, from Borla, old school look, fuel injected. So what that does is force that consumer, they've purchased an engine with a carburetor on it, they wanted the eight stack, so they went ahead and changed it in their own facility and some people and I'm not sure who did the installation but some people aren't as well equipped or have the knowledge base to do it successfully so ultimately why is that an issue or why is that something that should concern you well as an engine manufacturer obviously if this system isn't set up properly and it's over fueling which this one was um, due to some leaks, exhaust leaks, I think the map sensor was pinned incorrectly or just pinned poorly so we had a bad uh, connection. So the ECU and the self-learning is only as good as the installation. So ultimately we corrected those problems. We also cleaned up some of the wiring that we're really, really stickler about here. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, it rolled out. It's, it's, this is a very well running car. It responds very well. Not quite as aggressive uh, sounding as what we normally produce, but nonetheless, it's a great driver for the customer. So circling back around is if this is incorrectly installed or it's not tuned correctly and we're over fueling, why does that matter? Well, we'll start with basically ring seal. So we have a new engine that is still breaking the rings in as time goes along. Dyno testing alone does not fully break the engine in. So there's a lot, I'm gonna say somewhere 500 to 1,000, maybe even 1,500 miles required to seat in those rings correctly. So if we're consistently over fueling the engine, we're washing all the lubrication and oil off the cylinders and prematurely damaging that ring seal which over a period of time it's going to eventually burn oil, uh, probably smoke, you know, and that sort of thing. So again, as an engine manufacturer and as a consumer, you, you want to ask those questions, how much maybe knowledge base with these particular systems do you have, um, you know, what kind of maybe reviews from past customers that have used them, um, and that sort of thing. So uh, here at Prestige, we do an absolute ton of these things. Um, so if you've purchased a car from somebody or maybe attempted an install yourself on a, a little bit more sophisticated system and you're kind of striking out and having some issues, do not hesitate to call us. That's part of what our installation and car facility is all about, is to help you make that ride get back on the road trouble free.